time for field day 2022. I don't know, it's uh, close to four o'clock. A little late setting up here, but I'm not in it for the contest. I'm in it for the experience and the fun. We're at the Guglielmo Marconi Memorial Park in Franklin Township. It used to be the New Brunswick transmitting site for the wireless uh, Marconi Wireless Corporation. Uh, we throw in the antenna up in this tree here and setting up my little table down in the little grove down there in the shade. So first up is getting things unpacked and get the antenna in the tree. The so first step is we get the throw line laid out so that uh, it's not going to get tangled up when we try to toss it up in the tree. I think we'll do the underhand toss here. So I'm going to slip a bite through my bag and then I'm going to swing this underneath my legs and try to get a good toss up into that tree. Beautiful. All right, let's see, get into the bag here. Start pulling out our, our bits and pieces. I brought two rigs, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use. I like to see how well the FX4C works, but in, uh, you know, crowded band conditions, we'll see how well that works. If not, I brought the trusty 703. The antenna's in this box, let's get that out first. All right, there's a, some line I'm not gonna use. I'm just gonna use the throw line to po pull the antenna up. And I got our antenna. So let's uh, lay this out, get it all nice and straight, and then we'll pull it up into the tree. All right, now if I did this right, this shouldn't tangle either as we uh, lay it all out here. Do the over overhand, underhand winding thing. And we can see the antenna's coming. We'll come out here without any twists in it. Just lay it out here on the ground. And let's go find the other end of my throw line. There it is over here. Get the bag off the end and we'll attach the other end to the, the insulator here and I'm just hopefully this will fit. See, so yeah, I stick it through there, loop it around this end and pull it tight. That'll hold. Alrighty. Lay that down there. Again that pays out nicely because I did the overhand underhand winding thing. All right, attach the coax here. Okay, let's go pull the antenna up. Grab our throw line. And we should see the antenna coming up here. There she is. Gonna get some nice height on this here. Oh, well, probably a good 35, 40 feet up. Uh, let's see, so I'm up. Not gonna get much higher than that. So I'll just tie off down on this tree down here. Right, a couple of slip knots right there. And that'll hold our antenna at this end nicely. Let's go see how much height we have here at the other end now. So here's my feed point right here. Not too far off the ground. So what we'll do, I wonder if we can get over to the flagpole. Might not have quite enough to get to the flagpole, but let's see how we will, I think. Oh yeah, we'll tie right off to the flagpole here. This will work out lovely. Temporary installation, a couple of slip knots, and that's all we need. We're not going anywhere. Okay, I got the feed line coming down. Let's see. I'm gonna go, go on the other side of the rock here. Well, there's the rock that uh, describes this site in memory of Guglielmo Marconi. Kind of an appropriate place to set up a radio station, don't you think? Okay, got my feed line on the other side. There was another plaque over here. Look at that. All right, park was dedicated in 1992. All right, radio number one is the FX4C. Let's see how well this will work under crowded band conditions. And I got a little coax adapter here. We got the little mini set of paddles and my favorite little camelback straight key. All right, we got the battery over here. Okay. Get uh, power cord plugged in, power to the radio. Beautiful. All right, in my pocket, I have the coax to go to the tuner right here. And the other end to the radio. Good to go. I think I'll use the throw bag 
has a little stand to hold the radio up where I can see it. Where's the other end of the coax? Here we go, right here. That goes right here to the other end of the tuna. There we go. Okay, and I'll rearrange a couple things and we'll be good to go. Well, let's see, we're all set up and tuned up here in the uh, 40 meter band, uh, just in time, uh, let's see, 1947. So it didn't take me that long to get uh, it tuned up here. We're gonna give the FX4C a try and see how well it's gonna do under these uh, field day band conditions. Yeah, got him. Kilo one, Lima X-ray, listening. Whiskey two, Alpha Echo, Whiskey QRP. Whiskey two, Alpha Echo, Whiskey QRP. Whiskey two. Whiskey 2, Alpha, Echo, Whiskey. Uh, police copy 3, Alpha. 3, Alpha, Mike, Echo, over. I got your 3 Alpha main, I copy your 3 Alpha main. Please copy me 1 Bravo battery, 1 Bravo battery, Northern New Jersey, November, November, Juliet, over. Okay, very good. W2AEW with a 1 Bravo, Northern New Jersey. Good signal. Uh, thank you, and 73. We got you, got you fine up here in Maine. Uh, every, enjoy the field day from Kilo 1, Lima X-ray. Right, I think we'll call that a wrap for this evening. It's, uh, let's see, about quarter after seven. Put a couple hours in here. Made uh, 25 contacts, uh, about 16 of them CW, uh, the rest of them single sideband. And if we look carefully, you might be able to see I've got a visitor. Had fun here at the Guglielmo Marconi Memorial Park in Franklin Township, New Jersey, which again used to be the East Coast Transmitting Station. It's called the New Brunswick Station for the Marconi Wireless Corporation at uh, the beginning of the 1900s. So anyway, that'll be a wrap for uh, this site uh, for this evening. We might work a little bit later from the backyard.